vlog what am i doing this is actually really productive of me to upload two vlogs in a week as gender i woke up late and i didn't feel too good i was supposed to ride this morning but i didn't because my body was like no you're not doing that and it's also 37 degrees today currently 30 degrees so it's kind of too hot to ride now i'll be doing that this afternoon right now i'm gonna go out to the horses and give cherry her breakfast hey work cherry later and chili was already ridden this morning by someone else so i'm gonna give her dinner early but yeah let's go also my room is like red flags everywhere like how like how do people like that is so obnoxious anyway <laughs> So, excuse the outfit, I literally have no fashion sense and decided to wear bright pink socks that were not, like, pulled down and green shorts, apparently, um, which is fine, but, like, go off, I guess. So, just prefacing, I'm going to be talking about eating and potential disordered eating or body image. So, if any of these things trigger you, I will put the number, like, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, part on the screen where you can skip to so you don't have to listen to me ramble but I thought this was a really important topic to start talking about but basically I've always felt super self-conscious in the way I look especially on horses um for me personally I'm quite tall and I have very long legs and I'm built like a rugby player which I'm I'm built strong my body's strong um and for me personally I go on social media and I look at other riders that uh, probably have a faster metabolism than me or you know just have a different body shape to me and I'm like wow they look so good on a horse and then I compare it to photos of myself and I'm like oh yeah okay that's not that great um, and particularly for me because I have a disability I tend to steer towards shorter horses I feel more comfortable on a smaller horse so immediately that already makes me look different on a horse because I'm six foot tall so if I'm six foot tall and I'm riding a 14 hand horse like of course I'm going to look bigger on it um but it's something that I've recently noticed in myself and a lot of other people as well we're starting to become almost hypercritical of the way we look on a horse and whilst I think we are moving in the right direction of you know dealing with riders that are possibly too heavy for their horses or riders you know I think there's a lot more awareness than what there was 10 years ago like of course there is but I feel like equestrian brands are not keeping up with this so if you go onto any equestrian clothing site I can guarantee you a mainstream like website like Horseland or Saddles Plus or whatever they do not have plus plus size riders advertising their clothing I have I honestly cannot name one single company that offers a selection for plus size riders. Me personally, you know, I'm not, I don't consider myself plus size, but in the equestrian clothing, in equestrian clothing, I am. I am a 16 to 18 and uh, a normal size clothing, I am, you know, like a size 12. So I don't understand how that works. And I get it's European sizing, like different, whatever. But how can I jump three sizes up in equestrian clothing? It, just, it like literally doesn't make any sense to me, to be honest. And the way they make these clothes as well, they're not suitable for different riding body shapes. And I don't know whether anyone else has experienced this, but because my legs are so chunky and my calf genetics are literally insane, I have never been able to find a pair of breeches that actually fit my legs properly. I always end up having those red painful indentation lines on my legs because the breeches, like the seams are always in the wrong spots and the seams always rub and they're, like, they're too tight. The seams are always too tight for me and like, surely I cannot be the only person that has this problem and for myself personally my own negative image of my body and things that I've overheard other people saying about my body or the way I look on a horse has made me not want to compete anymore I do not I do not want to put myself in that situation anymore the feeling of being judged because of the way I look on a horse 
not the way I actually ride is extremely damaging and I you know this isn't what I want to be bringing to young girls when they start out in this sport that they should be looking a certain way and they should have this type of gear etc etc like you know what I mean like it's so materialistic so honestly I can't cover what I want to cover or talk about in this video I feel like I just don't have enough time or enough education and I could definitely write about it but talking about it straight off the top of my head, hell no, nah. like I feel like I'm just rambling. Um, but basically I needed to get some brushes anyways to take home to Brush Penny because I realized yesterday that I don't have anything at home and I was like, oh crap, I need to bring some stuff home for her. So I'm just chucking a heap of brushes and whatnot in a bucket to take home. Anyways, I feel like it's an important topic that I probably should bring light to, especially because it's something that I deal with every single time I get on a horse. Um, because, as I said, I do ride small horses and I'm a taller person. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments below. I feel like I've said things the wrong way or, you know, possibly upset someone. But honestly, the way I talk, I... I feel like you can upset someone by like literally blinking nowadays so oh well um, I just don't want people to feel alone in the way that I feel at the moment so if I can let one person know that they're not the only one that feels the same way like my job's done you know what I mean so I promised I wasn't going to make long videos anymore so I'm going to finish the video here and do a, like a part two to this vlog just because I feel like people don't watch long videos and yeah I don't know this video is kind of random but you're literally looking at my legs the entire time but at least I'm talking about something different it's kind of similar to a podcast like I feel like I would really enjoy doing a podcast if I could speak properly but I jumble my words up sometimes and it takes me so long to talk about something a podcast would have so many bloody cuts in it like I could not imagine you guys have a great day and this video has given you something to think about and hopefully a little bit of relatable content um it's something that i struggle with every single day and i want to bring light to it and make sure that other people don't feel alone in the way that i feel so yeah bye